testing, testing, one, two, three, audio test, one, five, eight, etc. and then stop it. Audio, audio test, one, five, uh, what's the Fibonacci sequence? One, one, one two, two, three, three five, five, eight, eight 13, 21, 34, 40, cut. <laughs> nah, I have standards. Do you know why Rome fell? What? I said, do you know why Rome fell? Yeah. Cut. Do you know why Rome fell? Yeah. Why? Because the barbarians invaded Rome. No, no. They moved the capital of Constantinople. Cut. No, no. They moved the capital of Constantinople to Byzantium. Cut. No, no. They moved the capital to Constantinople. To Byzantium. Constantinople. Which Constantine moved the capital to Byzantium, which became... Which became Constantinople. Which you're fine. Cool. Rome fell because Constantine... I can't stop this name. Cut. Constantinople. Uh, uh, where's the... Constantine moved the capital to Constantinople to Byzantium. to Byzantium to focus on what he deemed the greatest enemy at the time. Cut. Rome fell because Constantine moved the capital to Constantinople to Byzantium to Byzantium to focus on what he deemed the greatest enemy at the time. Cut. You weren't in the ch Who was their greatest enemy? Not who, what. Constantine thought Rome's greatest enemy was that the empire had grown too big. Cut. And so he moved the capital to Byzantium and split the empire into the Eastern and Western empires, which were both smaller than the Great Big Roman Empire. Great Big Roman. But because Constantine moved the capital and split the empire, their military enemies thought that Rome was on the decline. They thought that if Constantine is taking actions to defend the empire, instead of taking actions to continue the expansion, then Rome must be on its way out. Cut. And Constantine, of course, was so focused on the problems that naturally arise when the most powerful man alive moves a quarter of the way across the world that he couldn't handle the problems in the West. Cut. You can't walk in front of the camera. And Constantine was so focused on the problems that naturally arise when the most powerful man alive moves halfway across the world, that he couldn't focus on the problems in the West, in the city of Rome. So? Cut. That would have been so- So, in all your plans to defeat this little nemesis of yours, how do you see yourself going about it? Well, I figured I was- You're not gonna succeed with a head on a fence. He's stronger and quicker- Cut. Okay. He's stronger and quicker than you, and if you can't see that, this is an even emptier goose chase than I thought it was. He has more resources at his disposal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I started. He's stronger and quicker than you. And if you can't see that, then this is an even emptier goose chase than I thought it was. He's stronger and quicker than you, and if you can't see that, then this is an even emptier goose chase than I thought it was. No! No, I got it though! No, but you need to hit, you need to hit it forward. You can't hit it on accident. It's gonna be on purpose. Okay. He's stronger and quicker than you, and if you can't see that, then this is an even emptier goose chase than I thought it was. He has more resources at his disposal, and if you can't beat him with that, then why did Rome fall? You cut. Cut. I was wrong. He's stronger and quicker than you, and if you can't see that, then that's an even emptier goose chase than I thought it was. He has more resources at his disposal, and if you- <sighs> That was so cool! What's my line? And the only and way the you only can get him- the only way you're going to get him is- He's stronger and quicker than you, and if you can't see that, then this is an even emptier goose chase than I thought it was. He has more resources at his disposal, and the only way that you're gonna get him is why did Rome fall? Cut. Okay. 
Why did Rome fall? Because the capital. I was talking to a buddy of mine at a place.